get back at it again with another tower defense simulator video but obviously you read the title well i hope you did well today we're going to show you how to solo fall in mode with just engineer uh no accelerator needed because i see a lot of strategies with accelerator and engineer I, I don't even know what i just said but the towers you want are farm dj engineer obviously commander and militant and the map you want is abandoned city Guys, once you load in, uh, what the heck just happened to me? Once you load in, you obviously don't want to vote fallen mode. Uh, where, where am I? Bro, <laughs> I don't know what happened, but, uh, when you load in, you want to skip the first wave, but obviously you can't skip intermission, but you want to skip the first wave, and you want to place down a militant right here. An easy way, like right here, by the way, an easy, to, uh, an easy way to remember this is just go to this car and find this corner right here like when the path ends and uh yeah just place your militant right there and after that you want to skip the wave but not now obviously and uh we shall wait um this strategy i also have an uh, accelerator one uh, and a non-accelerator in fact not hardcore tower version of this one so yeah how did that do oh it damaged him okay i was about to say what it Damage six okay but now you want to save up for a farm or just skip away from one you can skip once you're seven after that you could skip but like it, it's a really a risky bet but like it's not the most efficient this strategy is not the most efficient but um for uh coins but after you get enough money place a farm uh, specifically right here you have to get it right here and uh now you want to get it to level one but this strategy is efficient for xp uh, but not really for coins if you if you really want coins uh, just go on a grinding strategy of molten or you can lose or win pizza party which is the most efficient now ouch I, oof, ooh, I died <laughs> well not died but like you know i died after you get your first level one farm you want to place it another one and uh yeah get it to level one as well and you want to do the same thing but again for another farm Let's see our FPS right now. 120, that's not bad. You will leak, but like, obviously, if you're doing this, you have to be level 60. So, you will at least have some HP to spare. It's not that, it's not going to be deep. Place another level 1 farm. And now, you want to save up for all of these to get to level 3. Or... Two, two. <laughs> I said three. I've been playing a lot of tower defense games that start at level, uh level uh one so i'm comp like when the tower starts at zero i'm just like what what you know and now we're we will definitely leak speedies but it's definitely fine and now you just want to get this farm and you want to get this farm to level two and overall you just want to get them all to level two so yeah this wave is gonna be one of the no actually yeah this is the last wave you're gonna leak so yeah do not worry about any hp you should leak now because you shouldn't leak, obviously. I, I don't know, you know? I don't know, like, leaking is a whole different thing if you're not level 60. Because there's obviously the pay-to-play option, which is kind of, I don't know, man. You gotta put in some effort to, like, get Engineer. Come on, like, at least grab, like, like, you gotta get a feeling of the suffering people go through. Like, 16 hours of doing the same thing. TDS meta design, you know, you could skip this wave. And after all, you got all your level uh, level 2 farms, you want to place another militant next to your uh, first militant. And now you want to get both of them to level 1. This wave you can skip, which is just overall faster and you shouldn't leak. It's not going to be a shouldn't, you just won't leak no matter what. But since the strategy is basically on a uh, enemy's beta map, there is literal, literally little to no RNG in this rat so yeah that's pretty nice and after you get all of these militants to level one you want to get all your farms to level three we are kind of shredding these guys two militants are really strong and one of the best early defenses you could get in solo not only in fallen but molten yeah molten is not the most efficient but like militant yeah maybe militant can be able to speed run um molten mode but who who will know you know and now you could skip this wave if you want, but like you may leak. But now you just want to get oh, a bo last both of these farms to level three. I cannot talk today. Uh, we are shredding, shredding the enemies, obviously. And we got John Roblox here. It's so cool they brought back John skin. It did take like three years, but I mean, 
mean, I mean, it's better late than never, am I right? TDS Frost Invasion be like. But, uh, uh, overall, TDS has definitely picked up their, um... I, well, I don't recommend skipping this wave, because the next wave is the boss, but, yeah. You could, obviously, but, like, it, it, you know, it's risky, but for this, for time's sakes, I would do it. Uh, get your last level 3 farm, and now you want to get a level 2 militant. And now you want to get... And now you want to get another level 3 farm right here. It, it has to be in this, like, pattern. It could be, like, over here a little. But I, I, I will always recommend over here because we need it for later on for the discount DJ buff. And it doesn't get, and unlike other placements, it doesn't get in the way of the towers. So, yeah, that's pretty great. Um, We will shred these enemies. I do not recommend skipping this wave, but as soon as the boss gets around here, or an easier way, if you like looking at the HP, is when he, he's at 41 HP, which he should be, like, right here, uh, you can skip, so, yeah, just finish up getting your level 3 farm, and now, you guys won't believe this one, but, like, it's kind of crazy, you want to place another farm and get it to level 3, basically, you want to do that, uh, three times, uh, or, like, uh, until you get eight farms, <laughs> So, just place them one by one, get them to level 3, uh, and yeah. These militants are really strong, so they can hold their own for like, for like, uh, like, six waves or something. So yeah. But yeah, getting, uh, getting another militant over getting a level 2 militant is way more efficient than like, you know, getting, getting like, one level 2 militant. So, that's nice, you know. You know, get this farm upgrade, place another one. And, and you just need to place down two more farms, and that's pretty much it. Militants holding them on. I don't, I really don't understand wave 12 wave structure. It's just a bunch of abnormals with an abnormal boss, so I guess. But we gotta, we gotta compliment these models. I wish I had a uh, free camp, but I obviously don't. But you, not gonna lie, you just gotta appreciate these uh, models, man. I appreciate uh, again this follows the same thing if you you can skip when he's at 41 HP obviously I don't know why I say obviously you actually do, you guys don't actually know it's not obvious now you want to place another farm right here and if you don't like to micro place or you're playing on mobile you can just place right here and I'm too lazy to micro place and I don't even think you can place there nope you can and after you get all your level uh, three farms obviously right there you want to place a I need to stop saying obviously place a level three DJ the hiddens are easy, so you can skip. Literally, literally skip whenever you want. These are like it's easy. After you get this level three DJ, you want to get, to get this militant to level two, and now you want to get this militant and this militant to max over, uh, over like six wave maybe. I don't know. No, I actually lied. Uh, don't listen to me, guys. I lied. Do never, never listen to me, guys. I'm just joking. But like, I'm I'm here to correct myself. You have to get this farm to max. I'm not reading this off a document, it's just, I, I, I test a lot of my strategies. For games like this, um, I test a lot of my strategy, and I'm like, you know what, this works, this is more efficient, so, yeah. Because here at Dangler, Dang, Dang, the, the Dang Japan Foundation, we, uh, we encourage finding a different option than the regular meta of spamming engineers and uh accelerators to be fallen which is not really needed because engineer now after a bunch of uh fixes with its rate of fire rate uh, rate of fire rate i rate of fire bug or whatever it's called i can't speak today uh uh engineers now will be hidden waves at uh, the hit wave with hidden not hidden wave only true ones remember is um pretty easy so you can just skip that wave now you want to get this militant to match but yeah, the the meta right now is uh, Engineer, which I, I'm happy about that, because back then, Engineer was just like a pay-to-play tower or waste 21 hours of your life just to lose the game. But now, you can win with Engineer. And I know most players would say uh, late game equals uh, better towers to militant. I mean, yeah, you could say that, but for me, the best for me I've seen is just with militant. Now... We gotta get a nice strong Roblox skin, right? And now we're gonna we're gonna get this militant to max. But look at this John Roblox skin, dude. So nostalgic, dude. 
what a what a juicy tower, man. What a, what a juicy tower back in the day. Although militants are right now, but it just yeah. But um, in their unofficial gameplay, whatever in section of their TD of the TDS Discord, they did say they might give pursue uh, one of my favorite towers actually a damage buff to like buff your towers around it. But like most of the things in the, there don't get approved, but or just get underlooked on. So yeah. Alright, we will shred this wave, and then you can skip this wave. And now, you want to get this farm to max. And, yeah, everything else should be pretty easy now, because militants are really strong even without a commander. So, that's really nice to see. And, yeah, m these militants are really destroying. See, what I don't see, people, like, place down two militants, then place down a commander, right? And it it's not really needed, so, yeah. Necromancer just dies before you can spawn. Huge L on his part. So get this farm to max and pre-place your commander. And you just want to keep it at level 0. And now you want to max out this farm. But yeah, uh, after you place on your commander, just keep maxing out all your farms. You're going to do that until wave 22. But you, uh, it's better to listen than to like, oh, panic place. But uh, the strategy shouldn't require any panic placing because I... It really the because this is mostly breakers in, except for the final bosses RNG. This seems to be the last farm you can max out before wave 22. So yeah, we are really shredding the enemies right now. All right, easy shred. And can we compliment militants range? That is golden mini slash regular minis range with uh. I don't know if this was DJ, but for 21 for that price, which is like. Basically half of um, mini gunner's price, at least golden. I, I get this farm to max, and now you want to get color orange. Do not use it immediately though. But first, finish up your farming, of course. But uh, don't use your color orange, not just yet. You want to shred these enemies, right? And do not skip this wave. I mean, you could, but it's it, it requires like you know a whole other thing. I mean, you could create a speed one strategy. But, you want to use Call of Arms as soon as you lock onto the giant boss. And you can skip the wave when he, the giant boss, is at um, 200 HP. So, if you just wait for him to be at 200 HP, easy pickings. But, oh, not only you have to wait for him to be chipped down, right? But you also need the cash or you can get the farm, yada yada. He's at 200 HP. I would say 250 to be more pacific. But, yeah. Now you want to max out your farms. Oh. I, I'm sorry guys, I lied to you. You can't max out this one farm. Can we, can we compliment the music design of this game though? Like, a lot of the games don't, like, a lot of TD games don't really focus down on music or sound design. But TDS has to be one of the best uh, sound design games in Tire Defense Simulator. So do not use your column bombs yet. Wait for the Necromancer to die, which should have happened pretty fast. Again, with the same with the Giant Boss. Get ready to use your column bombs after this uh, Necromancer dies. And as uh, same rules as uh, as soon as he reaches um, 200 HP, you can skip the wave. We are currently shredding this man. And uh, he shall die soon. Trust, trust, trust. All right, here we go. Around 200. And now you want to max out your DJ. You saw I was gonna place down an engineer. Ah, oh, nah, 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 nah. A fast boss is that a fast boss also hidden? But now you want to place down an engineer right behind your second militant. Just a little on the pathway. It doesn't have to be micro, by the way, because, you know, engineer has a pretty solid range at max. But now you want to get this engineer to max. So pretty much, you just want to get it to max. And the hidden boss shall die. And, yeah. Unlike my other strategies on follow mode TDS, Call of War training isn't, like, a must here. But it is highly recommended, because, yeah... But yeah, you just want to continue to max out your engineer over like uh, two waves, about two waves, maybe three, but I doubt it. We got the engineer is engineer here. All right, the engineer is engineer here, guys. You know, it's funny. It took me a lot of developments on this wave. See, I always died at this wave, and I it was either it was either I suffer with your eco, which makes you lose later on. Or just lose on this wave, but uh, after a lot of farming, uh, readjustments, etc., etc., uh, 
Uh, yeah, I came up with the strategy. See, people don't understand. Like, people say, oh, yeah, can you make an updated strategy of this and this and so on? We don't understand. Uh, making a strategy does take, take a, a, quite a bit of brain power, you know? Just not, not, not because, like, uh, not because of it, there's actually a lot of factors. Not just because, you know, maybe strap people are lazy. Nah. No, no, no. There's actually a lot of factors. Just, uh,. You know, there's, um, there's tower balances, there's just lack of motivation, there's just time consuming, and there's also a tower thing. If you want your, most of your strategies to be, f uh, like, friendly, I like to be, I, want, I like my strategies to be friendly. Not just, like, with the towers, but I'm talking, like, easy to follow, so, yeah. I don't really do documents, because I feel like a document is just a huge waste of time. Not because I'm lazy, but, yeah, it's just, it's just not, like, something I find plausible, because, why would to make like why would i spend time just working on a document just for it to probably be outdated soon but after you get your max engineer you want to uh, place another engineer right here and get it to level four and now you want to place another engineer right here place it to level four now you want to place another engineer right here uh and get it to level four and guess what guys you want to place another engineer here and get it to level four and guys, you won't believe it. You won't believe this, actually. You want to place another engineer right here and get to the level 4. This is, should be your last engineer placement. It's just all, oh, like, crowded over here. And now you want to max them one by one. Do not, like, get old level 5s because that's just a waste of DJ. Do not get them. Do not get old level 5s. Just make sure to, uh, make sure to, you know, level them up one by one to the max upgrade. And you do not need the call of arms, uh, or call of arms to chain, in fact, because engineer is really strong and it doesn't require a call of arms chain, so yeah. But you will call of arms later in the strategy, so don't get too greedy without it. Uh, yeah, it's safe to skip every wave after you get three max, uh, I would say it's, it's not safe to, uh, skip at wave 37. Um, maybe 36. Five and six, but I I don't know. But it's safe to skip for now. This this is the place where it's safe to skip. Uh, obviously, you have two max engineers. This tank stands zero chance against your defense. But yeah, there's also some pros and cons of documents. First, documents may be easier for people, but like again, you have to break your neck to look at your phone or you know look at the split screen and stuff. And it's overall just hard to remember. And well, you can have a video tab in the background, right? You could have a video tab, you know, talking and stuff, if you forget the strategy. See, my strategies are meant to be watched before you actually do the strategy. Then you can place the strat- uh, you can- not place. <laughs> too much CDS or too much shadow defense. Um, then you can watch the audio background with the video and yeah, I guess it's entertaining, I guess. Uh, it was not only my fire commentary, but yeah, I, I I was thinking about the whole strategy thing one day. I'm like, you know what? Strategies are really boring as crap. It's either bottom text or a document. And I'm like, no, that's just boring as crap. So I, I, I just want to find a new way to like, you know, make strategies and I may be the only one doing it, but like, you know, Hey, it's, uh, it's out here, you know, you could do it, but just continue to max out your engineers. But yeah, I, I just, I kind of rethought the whole strategy thing. I'm not like claiming commentary plus strategy is mine, but like, you know, it's just, uh, it's just a little different to see, you know? And that's kind of my niche because, like, there's so many strategy YouTubers. And I'm not a strategy YouTuber. No, not by any means. I'm a tower defense YouTuber. Not by any means, too. I, it's just, I really like tower defense and I play, I, I make videos on the game, you know? Uh, these breakers get breakers because breaker four gets from breaking three, from breakers four, breakers breaker. I don't know what I'm saying. Get shredded by the engineer. You can skip that way, by the way. You can skip, like, all the waves, like I said, until, like, wave 36. I would say 36, because that's when it, it gets kind of hard. But, yeah, I just kind of rethought the strategy way, and I wanted the niche to stand out from for my strategies, you know? So, yeah. And we're kind of shredding. And I do research about, like, uh, I do research about these things. I, I want my strategies to be so similar to someone else's that I copy, dude. Dude, I, dude, I caught, nah. Wait, how the heck, what the, I, I was climbing that, what? I, I don't know. And by the way, I have no idea when I started the seamount, but it's gonna stay until we beat the game. Uh, but yeah. 
But yeah, I, I, it's just like, I look up my, I look up like videos about charging and I'm like, man, this is really efficient. For this engineer one, I haven't seen anyone like post a, like a non-engineer, like either you need golden inch cow or something, etc. Like see these really OP meta towers that if you grind it for engineer, you probably won't have a, have uh, you know, golden crook scout or whatever. So yeah, I came in here with the pretty adaptable one. You oh, the really only hardcore tower you need or like hardcore to grind. You get the joke. Laugh now, laugh now. I have your IP. Oh, anyways, um, but uh, yeah, 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 guys. But like the only. No, I I forgot. The oh the har only hardcore tower you need to grind, honestly, is just um just uh engineer. But you guys get the joke, hardcore tower, hardcore grind, haha. <laughs> Laugh now, please. And, but yeah, that that's that's kinda one thing. Okay, we're shredding the enemies. Uh, these enemies are getting owned. Uh yeah, and you can skip this wave. Alright, now this is where you need to start up a Call of Arm chain, but you don't need to do it until wave 40, obviously. Well, not obviously. I need- Did I- I- I have something against obviously. Not against, I just always use obviously. But set up a Call of Arm chain. It's a quite simple concept. You want to start this ability, and as soon as this ability ends, you want to sh use this one, and vice versa, I'll keep doing that. But after uh, you get all these to level 2, you want to get this one to match, because I just found that would be the most efficient. And, uh, yeah, you want to shred the enemies. I'm turning down my shams. Holy crap, dude. Holy crap. I played Zoom. I, I was playing Zoom that. Uh, does this not work? Below. B below. Bl well, at least it's quieter. They made it quieter, I think. But now, you want to spam militants. Uh, max them out one by one. I'll throw up a screenshot. Uh, uh, I'll throw up a screenshot of where you should place your militants. Just make sure they're in the spot where the range is utilized the most. But uh, again, I'll put up that screenshot. Uh, again. Uh, new editing, by the way. So, yeah. Here's that screenshot again. But yeah, um, now I'm going to time lapse to wave 40. So, I'll see you guys at wave 40. guys want the last wave so get your cash you know you gotta get make those investments and now you want to sell your farge by the way and that's the uh, uh if you watch the video see um first of all you want to keep up that commander chain make sure it's in rotation now sell your farms and replace those farms with uh militants uh this will benefit you if you get terrible rng like it spawns like 500 fallen guardians tds rng uh but yeah this is just really a safety net. Also adds on to the DPS. We're gonna shred. But yeah, there's a lot of videos. Uh, there's a lot of videos. There's a lot of people that complain about my strategies uh, not being like full and complete. Sucker man, these fellas watched the video for like five minutes and gave up. Where where are these bullets? Oh, centuries. I forgot. Centuries have bullets. And uh, now you wanna just uh, keep up the call of arm chain. And if you do get like terrible RNG, unlike the accelerator one, I uh, I did it, it is, um, it's not really like you know, it's not really like detrimental when he stomps because you know sentry shields are. Uh, look, just because I said it's not detrimental doesn't mean you should stop. But it's, uh yeah, uh yeah, it doesn't matter if he stomps that much because um. Cause uh yeah, just keep that column arm chain in rotation and yeah, he'll die. But it's not it's not like the end of the war when he stomps, cause uh engineer sentries is you know, has the shield and does massive amounts of DPS. As you can see now. And uh we're shredding. But it's kinda good he stomped right there because like he's gonna stun right here, which is just stupid. 
Okay, that's kind of the stupidest move you can do. But if your commander gets stunned or something, just shell and replace it somewhere. So you get the call advantage because it's very important. It's not, it, it, it really helps because the overall militant DPS actually makes it possible. Because engineer and engineer only cannot solo. Uh, but yeah, it's stupid stun, stupid stun, go to shell and replace. You don't actually have to do that. But the without the militants, you could not be able to solo. Uh, with uh, follow mode. And thanks for guys for watching. That's how to solo follow mode with engineer. And uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. And uh, stay hydrated.